I'm Inspector Keller. Inspector what Keller? Stephen. I like Stephen better. After a while, they all start to look the same. Yeah, I suppose they would. Speaking about motivations and all that jazz, why would a guy who's 20... 21? 28. Nobody's 28. Just had a birthday. What about you? A native? Born and bred. Modesto, California. Modesto? Yeah. Oh, come on. Nobody's really from Modesto. What are you talking about? My father told me that was a great place to be from. That's why I shipped myself off to Berkeley. <laughs> So, uh, watching me or following me? No. The pig with the heart. It happened. It's almost like an accident. You know something, Steve Keller, for a human being, you're really a nice guy. You know, you never answered my question about why. Why I became a cop. Just seemed the right thing. Oh, because it's public service. <sighs> no, we don't serve, at least not the way it sounds. We just react against anyone who dares society to deal with them. Guess there has to be somebody around to do that. Look at me. No. Now you look at me. Just look. That's you. That's what I see. So don't do any numbers about dignity and self-respect, all right? Let's just let forever start today. Well, you don't have to rub it in. You remember him, then. There are some men that are terribly hard to forget, Inspector. Kind of cute. What time do you get off work? Lillian Slim. Nah. If she were really liberated, she would have waited for an answer. I I'm Inspector Keller. Well... Things are looking up at City Hall. Thank you, Joseph. Oh, just a second. Hi, you sweet here? face. You're still around, huh? Yeah. You see, a man has a different way of talking to a woman on the phone than to another man. Why don't you prove it to yourself, Inspector, and call me sometime? Okay. Now, I think molds are for cookies. I don't have to leave till morning. Roy's been an hour and a half since Mike and I split up. Now You're I think... talking about maybe the most experienced guy in the department. I'm just talking about my partner, a guy I know better than anybody. A guy who would not wander around without checking in and leaving at 10-7. I want some men, Roy. Oh, Steve. A cop got gunned down right where we were tonight. You gotta report the right up. Roy, right. Okay, Roy, just get the out. The only report I'm working on is Mike's. Until then... Until then, you're not gonna do your job, huh? Well, I'm not gonna give them that kind of an incentive to build this thing into something bigger than it is by sending an army out onto their turf. Well, that's all fine, but Mike's still out there. Mike can handle himself. You wanna check out something, you check out where, uh, Lieutenant Michael Stone is right now. You know where he is, and you're gonna talk. Steve. He killed Traconis. His friends are the same. They don't care. Look, you want me to tell you how much I care, baby? You <laughs> punk! <laughs> you punk! You punk! You punk! You give me those men now? Boy, if we ever had a, a prayer a crack in that kid, you sure blew it. He thinks now we care so much that, that we're gonna crack, you know All that. All I you? care about is Mike right now, what's facing him, and what he would do for me in the same spot. It's gonna be a sweep, then I'll lead it. What are you talking about, if? I got 50 governors arriving in this city tomorrow. Every one of them, and every available man is... You name me up. one man who wouldn't pull double duty for Mike. That's not the point.
Well, let's just get the hell out of here. Come on. Don't jiggle that thing. You know something? What? If a watch can be slow, it can also be fast. All right, what's bothering you? The guy with the mustache? You bet he bothers me. Told you all about the suspect. Yeah, but who took her there? Well, now you're back. Lou Felton. Waiter says you were a friend of Harris. Well, we, uh, we did a little time together, yeah. A lot of people did time with Harry. Sometime or another. But Harry was a loser. Are you? <laughs> now, do I look like a loser? That's not what I had to see you about. Uh, see, I got into town yesterday, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty broke. Uh, well, I had an okay job up in Canada, but I lost it. And, uh... Well, see, the thing is, I don't know anybody. If I could just find some other guys in the same boat, you know, maybe they could help me you know, until I got squared away. That's all very interesting, Mr. Murdoch, but I'm still not sure why you came to me. Colonel Johnson? Yes, Stephen Keller, Auditor General's office. I'm oh, sorry, your office didn't notify you? No, they didn't. Do you have any ID, Captain? Yes, sir. Oh. No! 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 Let me out of here! No! You like your room? Oh, I love it. I just love it. What's all this for? Routine evaluation. You're not my doctor. You like Dr. Murchison? No. Why should I? He and my uncle got me in here. Well, they're holding out their hands. Maybe they're trying to help him. <laughs> they just want you to make you believe that. Do you think adults are trying to hurt the kid? Well, somebody's in it for something. Just like you. You want to keep me committed here, don't you? Why would I want that? Huh? A little green stuff? A little money I get from my grandfather? And you and my uncle get to keep it. We're trying to help you. <laughs> Come on, doctor. Well, yeah, but you don't even care what happens for me, man. You never ever care what Take happened to me. No, why don't you just Take bug these. off? All right, come on, just come on. Just bug off! Maybe it was my mistake, but just sit down here. Come on. Sit down. But I certainly can't pull the plug. Yeah, well, you just don't worry about me. You worry about yourself. Just don't worry about me, because when I get out of here, I'm going to see a lawyer, and you're going to wish that you never knew me. That's right. Huh? That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? Yeah. That's the first time I've seen you laugh. It's nice. <laughs> What's the matter, Steve? Strange. Are you all right? You were the one she saw. Oh, she wasn't. It was you all the time. You better come with me. Sit away with me. Sit. Stay away with me. Come on, Steve. 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 
Don't worry, I'm okay. Hello, friend. You want to join me? It never stops for you, then. Call me Miss Mellon. All oh, the stupid. Sam. It's the guy's kid, Marty. Nancy! Nancy, come here, will you? Which way? Yeah, there's a ranger station up there. Right over there. Hey, look, huh? look. The easiest thing I can do is turn you loose. Because if we split up, babe, they're going after you, not me. Fine, do it. Come on. Why don't you do it? Huh? I don't know. I don't want anything to happen to you. I guess I don't know. <laughs> no, no. You need me to be a witness, no, right? No, no. I seen all four of those guys in front of the bartender suite. Why are you going to all this trouble, man? You huh? Come on, let's deal with your insecurities later. Let's get out of here. And you go call for help. Go on, get out of here. Run, get out. Hey, there's no way you're gonna walk out of here with that bomb, you know? One way. Holding hands with you. Look, uh, 
People aren't going for this kind of number anymore, you know? I mean, they've had it. The hostages being taken, threats and demands made. This kind of stuff doesn't work anymore. I guess you know what I got around my back by now. Yeah. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Well, I hear North Africa's nice this time of year. Tired of sitting down. Well, how'd you like to lay down permanently? Oh, man, you talk like some kind of gangster picture or something. You think you're Humphrey Bogart? Get back there. Hey, Sonny. Sonny, you go through with this? You don't want to be as dumb as your brother, do you? Mr. Lice, whatever they talked about, whatever you're talking about, there's only one thing that happened today. Three people got killed. So whoever ends up saving the world, nothing changes that fact.